y'all i'm back with another video but this is a cooking video um i decided for lunch that me and sue did on our off day we were gonna we're gonna have tacos but we're gonna do taco salad so right now i'm just prepping the meat a little early it's one o'clock where we are in ohio yes we live in the state of ohio, state of ohio. um so i'm just gonna be prepping some ground beef and y'all i kind of break mine up out the thing I, I don't I do not puncture that little thing underneath because I don't I don't go that hard at it but this is just how I shred my meat up and I'm just gonna shred it up even more with my little utensil kitchen utensils and y'all this is the biggest burner we have so we're just gonna have to rock and roll with it but I'm gonna let this sit and cook and then I'm gonna come back to y'all when it's brown fully and I've drained it and everything and then show y'all what I'm gonna put in there next. So we'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back. Okay, so I kind of burnt the taco meat a little bit, but it's okay, it's sitting off. But so all I did was cook the ground beef thoroughly through and then um, I went on ahead and drained the excess grease from it. Um, and then after that, I set it back on the burner, this big old burner. And um, I went on ahead and I put my taco seasoning in, which is in here. I used the mild seasoning mix. And then I just followed the directions on the back, which is using two third cups water if you have a whole pound of uh, ground beef. And then y'all, so hold on y'all. I'm sorry y'all are standing at the ground. So I plan on making a taco salad. Um, Give me a second, I'm gonna have everything, I'm gonna come back and have everything set up because I'm still dealing with that. Um, the taco seasoning and stuff cooked through it fully. So it just looks like that because I just mixed it up a little bit, but I'll be right back, y'all stay put. Hey y'all, so, hey y'all, so I'm back. I got all the ingredients that I normally use for my taco salad. I went on ahead and dug out the bigger pieces of the, the Mission tortilla chips. You can use any tortilla you choose. This is She likes to leave me with the crumbs. This is he because he likes to eat chips and salsa. That's about it when, it when I make tacos sometimes. But you can use any tortilla chips that you want. I just choose to use Mission because they were cheapest at the grocery store. And with inflation and prices, we ain't gonna talk about it. Um, the other thing that I normally do use is the spring or simple truth organic spring uh, baby spring mix. The only reason why I use this, y'all, is because it's just easier to store and such. And I rinse this right off. And all I really do, y'all, is just pick through it. My hands are clean. I did wash them before coming back on camera with y'all, so just to let y'all know. Uh, I normally just pick a little bit out. I kind of ball it up in my hand. And whatever drops down, it's okay. And I just kind of break it up because it's a lot more leafier than what I'm used to using. But it still tastes just as good as the other stuff. So, right now I'm just breaking this lettuce up. I don't necessarily put a lot of lettuce because I learned that I have to eat in moderation of certain food, but that's just me. So I'm just going to leave this much lettuce and leave it be actually put a couple more strands in there because I want a couple of these purple pieces in here. I think these are radishes, I believe. Oh, never mind. It's a balanced medley of uh, tender baby lettuce and baby greens. So never mind. Excuse me. I'm just going to rip this up in here. And then, y'all, um, what I normally do is I go ahead and take my taco, a little bit of my taco meat. I just add it in there. And I'm going to put this on there. It's okay. We're going to keep pushing. There's Slacking. Two people eating this. Slacking. So I'm just going to put a little bit of taco meat. And there's my taco meat. Now, what I kind of do next is, as y'all can see, it's kind of like a salad. I go ahead and put my cheese on next. Oh, here. I put my cheese on next. Now, y'all, because this craft bag just did not want to open correctly, I just had to kind of just keep it fresh and sealed. So, this cheese is the Mexican four cheese. It's got shredded Monterey Jack, cheddar, acedero, and queso. And it's uh, no whatever that is hormone. So. But y'all, I was really looking for a finely shredded cheese. That's all I was wanting. So I'm just easily spreading it on here, like so. I don't put too much, just enough where I'm like, okay, I can taste it. And I'm gonna close this back, the 
bootleg way we've been closing it back. We ain't gonna talk about that. And I'm just gonna close this so that it can stay fresh and sealed on its own. Then I'm gonna put on my salsa, and I have uh, the paste, the original picante salsa in medium. You can put on as much as you want. This is how much I'm putting on my taco salad. All right, so that's on. I like to normally just go ahead and put the lid back on. That's done for them. Now for my sour cream, y'all. I'm a sour cream gal. I normally just, hold on, that's why. I didn't open this one. This is a new sour cream. Yeah. And nobody asked you. He don't like sour cream, but little does he know he eats certain sauces from fast food places that have sour cream in it. So I normally just squeeze it out of a touch just to make sure it's solidified. And then I just go ahead and put as much as I would like on my taco salad. Yes, y'all, I'm a big sour cream fan. All right, and then finally, last but not least, I do heat my taco salad up just a tad bit just so that I can enjoy it. You don't have to, I do, just to heat, make sure everything's heated up and warm like I want it to. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna throw this in here for probably about 30 to 40 seconds and let it do its thing. But yeah, y'all, that is how I make my taco salad. I appreciate y'all for tuning into this video. Um, if you get hungry through the process, make sure you either make you some taco salad or you get your y'all snack, okay? Make sure you got your, you know, drink your drink and whatnot. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. Please like, comment, subscribe, also share. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.